Welcome to Auditory Precision and what I'm going to go over is the plateau method and to go ahead and do that we're going to do a little review on air masking and like I usually do I will make a very simplistic audiogram and we're going to say that that is 20 decibels and that my left ear is perfect it's right on the line and it's flat we will say that my right ear, however, is at uh, 60 decibels. I know it's kind of unfair to make it flat, but it does make it extremely easy. And just as a quick review, if I was wearing inserts, which is what we'll be doing for this example, I'll have to mask because there's a 40 decibel gap. With inserts, however, I need a 70 decibel gap, and that would mean that my right air score would have to be at 90 decibels before I would have to mask. Now what we went over with the generalized way to mask for air was the fact that I'm going to add 10 decibels to my non-test ear and then that's what I will use with narrow band noise. So in this case I would add 10 to 20, give me 30. I would add 30 to my non-test ear to make sure that 60 was correct. And we might find after adding masking noise that maybe my right ear was at 70. You know, we just don't know. But there is a way to find out and to find out that we did it correctly and it's called effective masking. And to perform this, we're gonna use the plateau method. And this is it. So my test ear pure tone threshold average was measured and is at 60 decibels HL. Masking is then raised in the non-test ear by five. So that brings us to 35. And we reestablished the test ear pure tone threshold to be at 65. So now all of a sudden we find out that I'm actually at 65. The next 5 decibel increase in masking level produces a test ear threshold shift to 70 decibels. So now I'm at 70 after I added 40. With the next three additional five decibel increase levels in uh, masking intensity, the test ear threshold remains at 70, showing no shift. So I then went to 45, 50, and 55, and I had no shift. It held true at 70. Now, if I kept going to say 55 and 60, it might have gotten to a point to where um, I would have had over masking and the masking noise would have been so loud that I would have had uh, incorrect results. Um, however, anything below here is considered under masking. This sweet spot that I circled is considered the plateau. That is the perfect effective masking to get the most optimal results that you can get.